honestly, your location shouldn't matter much nowadays. And we should be able to keep on top of things, even if we are on the go. And I am going to show you how. Realistically, we are far luckier today than we were a few years ago in, in SEO because we have far more tools with features uh, alerting us about the changes in, in configurations, right? I have, and I have found that many SEOs use them, but use them usually for rank tracking alerts, for changes and drops in rankings, especially, right? And, and traffic alerts also when something goes really, really wrong, like there's a drop in traffic. However, I would like to be alerted when something changes before that, right? Like what has caused that traffic drop or a ranking drop, that configuration, technical or content configuration, especially that causes drop. And I would like to highlight those and feature those today to show you a few of those tools and features that will allow us to be like rather happier on the go and not thinking all the time if someone has means install something or, or change the, the canonicalization on the site or blocked completely the production uh, environment instead of the staging one, things like that, right? Let's take a look. Let's start setting those tools that you likely already have, like your SEO crawlers. Most of them nowadays have some sort of scheduling option, like for example, deep crawl here. Um, they allow me to set um, hourly, daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, quarterly crawls. And uh, of course, I can compare them with the previous crawls that I have done with the tool too. And the best of it is that I won't only get an email alert when the crawl is done, but I will also able to connect the call with Zapier uh, to receive alerts over my project management system, like for example, Jira tickets for broken pages discovered in my last crawl or create Trello cards uh, for rocking pages, for example, or with errors uh, found in the crawl, uh, and I can receive Slack notifications for them, and not only me, but my team members too, uh, the people who work with me. So we are all of the heated of issues that have been found. I usually set crawls weekly, but of course, uh, there might be a few things that can happen in the meantime, and I am also going to show you how to track those too. One of the tools that I would like to highlight to you today is Little Warden. As you can see, Little Warden uh, has a slogan that says monitoring the tedious, which is correct. You can include very, in a very straightforward way here, the most important pages, the most important URLs on, of your site, top category pages, um, top product pages, besides your homepage, of course, uh, to monitor. And you then are able to enable some checks so you can check the HTTP status, if there are any redirects happening, canonicalization, uh, if the Google Analytics code has changed or not, robots.txt, blockage, X robots, meta robots, configuration, title tags, meta description configura configuration, even custom text that you can set here to check if it exists or not on, on those particular pages that you track, uh, if there are any redirects happening, which is also very useful for international type of configurations. Then you can also obtain this uh, alerts over email, but again, you can set some subs uh, through Sapier or even IFT alerts to receive them through your project management system too. You can see here how I am tracking some of the most important pages in Remoters, for example, and I can see all of the configurations that are good, um, like configurations that I haven't enabled yet for it, and I can also check the site history, which is actually something very useful because if at some point something goes wrong, I can point uh, when it started, right? Maybe even if I am alerted, I can do any change because there are some resources restrictions or, or delays or problems and I can point out specifically when it started. All these changes are notified via email too, that again, as I mentioned before, you can connect with um, serv alert services such as Sapier or IF to receive uh, through Slack or your project management system. So you can easily check uh, on the go if you want. Uh, so for example, I am here notified that this website uh, changed the roles TXT on December 25th. Surprise, surprise, 
very handy. And then the description of this other page also change. So if, if it is also something particularly important for me, I will go ahead and, and be able to uh, take an action, particular action or delegate that to someone to my team uh, and make sure that I can fix it accordingly, right easily, hopefully soon. Another similar tool is um, Content King. Content Keen allows you to crawl your website initially. So for example, if you want to crawl the top 1,000 pages or 5,000 pages or 10,000 pages that you want to monitor, or you can also uh, include those, those particular pages that you want to also track. Um, and it will actually crawl and notify you of changes in those particular page, pages included in, 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 in your repo, right, and, and, and daily. The, this is the specific particular difference that these tools have with the typical crawlers, I have to say. In the, in the case of Little Warden, you need to include the URLs manually. They, they don't crawl them for you. In the case of Content King, they do crawl them for you if you want. Uh, and then you will get this notifications, the status of, of these pages like this, but then of course you will be notified of issues, if there are any issues of these pages, and you will be able to receive the notifications, the alerts via email again that you can set again and connect with your project management system to obtain and to get on the go. So for any of these changes, the headings, canonicalizations, uh, robots.txt, the link changes, the issue of line annotations too, um, is, is something particularly useful. Is you can see here that we have at the bottom issue of line annotations changes here. So as you can see, there are many different tools that we can use nowadays. You can see here the the changes on, on, on my website that help uh, and they notify me specifically how many of these pages have changed on the time during this time and we which of these have remained the same, etc. If I notice that there are so many different changes or there are something that is definitely not uh, happening as I expected. I can go and, and, and take an appropriate measure accordingly. Besides these tools that are focused on notifying us of the changes of our websites, they are focused on content and technical configurations. We have also run trackers, right? And and there has been a really good evolution in the last years, making run trackers mobile friendly, I have to say, and many of them have also apps also nowadays. So it, it is particularly handy to be able to keep on top of things, ranks, uh, spe specifically those rankings for our most important pages, for our most important websites while on the go. However, I have to say that some of the tools have taken the extra mile, have given the extra mile, particularly not only highlighting the most important ranking changes, but also notifying us of additional opportunities to allow us, to enable us to not only monitor what is going on from a negative perspective, but also to identify opportunities and also being able to actually be much more useful while on the go to right to be able to actually manage our accounts and our websites while on the go. So SEO Monitor has done that with their signals report here. So as you can see, they don't only notify us uh, like with a summary of how it has been going with uh, your most important um, track keywords here, but also they have these cards notifying you of victories, opportunities, market trends, competition trends, losses and issues, for example, cannibalization issues, so features, loss, uh, conversion rate, increase, decrease, best rankings achieved, etc, etc. And all this, for all of this, they also have this app that I have found particularly useful to be able to keep on top and, and share many of this type of, of, of alerts and updates with the people working with me too. So I have to say that we are able like this, not only to be updated of technical changes, content changes, but also ranking changes and opportunities found in our SERPs visibility in order to make the best possible decisions, even if we are not in the office nowadays. Hopefully these tools also facilitate a lot of your work as they have done for me in the past and you are also more open to work remotely or on the go in 2019. 
Have a wonderful year. Thank you very much for the opportunity to share with you in the first Crawling Mondays. And see you next Monday.